we'll forgive you. Thousands of people in the U.S. will die from antibiotic-resistant infections. That's part, of the why, that's part of why knowing the proper use of antibiotics is so important. Here to tell us more is infectious diseases pharmacist Whitney Buckle from Intermountain Medical Center. Happy to have you here to talk about a, a topic that can affect people not only in the U.S. but all over the world. Yes, thank you for having me here today. So this week is Get Smart About Antibiotics Week, and this is actually something that's supported by the CDC for years, but also this year a proclamation by President Obama. Yeah. And I think the reason we're so concerned about it is that uh, it really does threaten um, advances in modern medicine. Antibiotic resistance will threaten the transplants that we do, the surgeries that we do. Oh, you know, wow. A lot of things impact healthcare here in the United States, but uh, nationwide as well. So when we're talking about antibiotics, you normally think these are things that are supposed to be helping us, and that's why we take them if we um, have some kind of a virus or an illness. Has there been an overuse of antibiotics? Are they not, why, are they, why aren't they as effective? So there probably is a component of overuse. So data sort of suggests that about half of antibiotic use is unnecessary. And one of the main reasons that antibiotics are unnecessary is you don't have a bacterial infection. And it can be kind of difficult to necessarily differentiate between when you have a virus and when you have a bacteria because you just feel sick. But uh, if you receive an antibiotic for a viral infection, it doesn't help. And what it does do is it destroys your natural, healthy, susceptible flora um, in your body. It might be hard to convince people if they're not feeling well to go to the doctor and not ask for an antibiotic. You know, how, how do we change the culture of how we deal with our illnesses if not with the overuse of antibiotics? Right. I mean, that's a great question. And I think that's one of the reasons that, you know, the government is supporting this Get Smart About Antibiotics Week is to provide that education for, for people. And, and really, it's something in collaboration with your physician to be able to to understand what you have and what your diagnosis is and respecting that decision and knowing that actually antibiotics can cause harm. Mm -hmm. um, and so if you, if you don't need them, you don't want to ask for them. Okay, so there's this great debate, right, in society that um, if you're too clean, people who are too clean always spraying disinfectant or washing their hands, they're more likely to get sick than somebody who will just rub it in the dirt, you know, if they get a cut. <laughs> right. Is there any truth to that? Yeah, you know, so that's a great question as well. It, it, it does seem that, you know, being too clean or worrying about being too clean can potentially, you know, lead to um, some issues. I think that it's still very important to wash your hands before eating. <laughs> you know, there's certain things that we really want to make sure that we right. stay clean for. Um, but for other things, you know, it, it may not be as big of a deal. And, and we um, learned, it was, a, it was a big story in the news a few months back about the super bug. Yeah. And, and we saw that in New York City and some other cities as it was spreading. And doctors didn't really have a, a, an idea of how to fix it, how to treat it. Right. And, you know, and I think we talk about the East Coast and there was a big outbreak, um, you know, in, in Maryland. But there's also been a huge outbreak in Colorado just across the Rockies. So oh, wow. I think that it really is getting close to home. It's something that could affect all of us here. And so that's why we, another reason we want to use antibiotics wisely. All right, so we have the proclamation from the president. Today is the day from the CDC, or is it this week? It's the whole week. This week. This mm -hmm. week is uh, the week for the CDC to, to think about this a little bit more. Well, thank you for coming on the show today. Appreciate your time, and I will continue to wash my hands despite what some people may say. <laughs> no, that's great. That's good. And make sure you, when you go do, when you go see the physician, you know, understand that if you have a viral infection, don't. Uh, yeah. Make sure that don't ask for an antibiotic if it's not necessary. You know, if you are prescribed an antibiotic, ask for the most targeted drug for the shortest effective duration so that okay. you limit your unnecessary exposure. Some good advice for what to do when you go to the doctor next. Thanks for being here. Thank you.